Welcome, my friends of the interwebs, and welcome to a little side-by-side -side comparison of the Glock 23 versus the Sig Sauer P229 Equinox. Uh, I had a, a I had a guy uh, ask me in one of my uh, YouTube videos. I can't remember which one. I don't remember the dude's name. I'm real sorry about that. Um, you know what? I'll try to put a link to it. If I can find him, I'll put a link to this dude. Uh, go check him out. But uh, he asked me, he said, if you had to uh, bet your life on either the uh, the SIG Equinox, uh, or I think he said the P229, uh, or the Glock 23, which one would you bet on? You know, and I thought that was kind of an interesting question, though I will tell you truthfully, and in fact, I think I even answered him. If you're talking about uh, shit hits the fan scenario, I'm going with the Glock, but if you're talking about just average, you know, which one is, if it's a reliability question, I think they're pretty even. Um, although, you know, <laughs> for the money, you got to go with the Glock, you know. So anyway, let's do some side-by-sides on this real quick. Oh, before I even start that, um, I want to show you guys something. I'm not sure how close I can get in this still stay in Zoom, but can anybody tell me in the comment section what I've got cooking? <laughs> Let me know what I've got cooking. <laughs> yes. Anyway, that'll be a first for me. I've I've uh, I've never even shot that uh, before ever. Um, kind of excited, truthfully. Anyway, enough about that. All right, uh, these guns. Let's just start with the um, though they've both been safety checks. As you can see, the slides are locked back and uh, the chambers have been checked, so they're 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 empty. Uh, this uh, magazine does have some rounds in it, but I'm not going to put the magazine in the uh, the gun to begin with. Uh, or I might. I don't know. All right, um, the Glock uh, mag, uh, 40 mag, holds 13 rounds. Okay, 13 rounds, 40 cal. The Sig Sauer. Uh, Equinox, the P229. I'll just keep. I'll just call it a P229 because it doesn't matter. That's Equinox is just a custom gun, but it's the P229. Um, Twelve rounds. So you get an extra round with the Glock. Now this is just the standard uh, magazine that comes with the gun. As is this. This is the the magazine that came with the 229. Okay. So you got one extra uh, one extra round with the uh, Glock. So, assuming you've got one in, in the pipe, you're looking at 14 rounds of uh, 40 cal with the Glock versus 13 rounds uh, of 40 cal. So, you know, hey, sometimes one bullet makes a big difference. <laughs> Just saying. Um, obviously, you're talking about a, a, a lighter gun with the Glock because it's, it's a polymer gun. Um, this, is a, this is a metal frame. It's a lot heavier. And uh, you can definitely tell the difference in the two. This gun has a lot less recoil than the Glock does. Uh, therefore, it's easier to keep uh, on target, keep sights on target than the Glock. I might as well drop these. Okay, this is brand spanking new. I tell you, that spring is tight. Okay, on the surface, <clears throat> now this is the, the SIG 229. It, this may not be a fair com comparison right now because this actually has night sights uh, on it which is awesome, and this uh, does not. This is the standard out of the box, but I do plan on putting night sights on this gun. Uh, but right out of the gate, let me tell you that uh, this was a little over $500. Uh, this was $1,150. Um, so, you know, you're talking about a, this gun costs twice as much. So, you know, just saying. You got to give the price to the to the uh, to the uh, Glock for sure. Uh, some of the features about the Sig that really make it nice versus the Glock is that the Sig is a uh, is a double single. So, which means that the first round is going to be a double action long trigger pull. Let me drop this real quick. Um, as you can see, long trigger pull, and the hammer comes back, and then every shot after that will be in single action. Okay, which with with a lot lighter and a shorter trigger pull, and in my humble opinion, that means much more accuracy. Whereas the Glock will always be a very long pull and and a heavy pull, and I don't know to be honest with you how many pounds we're talking about, but um, each pull will be harder and stiffer and longer than with the Sig, and <laughs> that's just the way it is. The one thing, as you've seen with the Sig. Uh, that the Glock does not have, and that is a decocker. Right here, you pull this down, and it drops the hammer. Safely dropping the hammer um, without engaging the, the uh, firing pin, which 
I love, <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love that feature. It is awesome. Is it worth $500? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, I, I, you know, as you can tell, I'm still a Glock man. I just am. I'm still a Glock man. Um, as far as durability goes, I mean, the, 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 listen, the SIG is built like a tank. It takes down uh, fairly similar to the Glock. And um, I'll be honest with you, I've shot a lot of rounds with that SIG, and I've not had one problem with it yet. It's been flawless as far as shooting. Um, it's just dependable. It's a dependable gun. I feel every bit as confident, uh, confident in the uh, the Sig as I do in the Glock. And I've had Glocks for 25 years. I mean, I I bought the, uh, my first Glock, it's a Glock 17. Uh, God, I must have been 21 years old, and I'm 44 now. So I mean, I've literally had Glocks since they first came out. Back when everybody was calling them the plastic gun, and you know there was all that big hoopla, you know how people could smuggle them onto airplanes and all that stupidity. Um, now I don't have the specs on these guns as far as the weight and stuff. I could have looked it up, but I'm too lazy for that. Um, I'm just going to give you just personal personal opinion. I think honestly, uh, for me at least, the the Glock feels better in my hand than the Sig does. Uh, and I've mentioned this before that I have small hands, so it's a little, it's just a little bit girthy for me. Uh, this Glock is a Gen 4 Glock, so I, obviously I didn't put the uh, the straps on it. And yes, I got the finger on the trigger, but as you all know, these guns are empty. So, whatever, whatever. You bust my balls if you want, I don't care. Um, just making an illustration that it's a girthy gun. Um, and this is not. <laughs> you know, uh, it just, the Glock feels better in my hand. It just does. Um, now, you know, that to me is important. It just is. Whereas the SIG, though, it's like shooting butter. I mean, it's like a Cadillac. It really is. And that, part of that is because it's a heavier gun. But it's, the recoil is so manageable on this, it's phenomenal. Now, I have yet to shoot this Glock uh, of Gen 4. Um, but I've shot many of Glocks, and unless there's been a huge improvement, they they're you know they're a bit they're a little tough. <laughs> you know, they're gonna kick a little bit. You gotta hold on, you know, just hold on. This, it'll the ride will be over soon enough, but hold on. Um, I don't mind that so much, but you know when you do shoot a Sig Sauer, you just man, your first reaction is that is so nice. <laughs> it just is. So anyway, I'm not gonna make this a long long vid. vid. We're almost at eight minutes now, but. I just wanted to give you a little close-up. And the reason why is because of that one guy's comment. And like I said, I'm going to try to put a, uh, put a uh, link to him. But, uh, you know, bet my life. I'll, I, would, I would feel very confident of, about defending my life with either one of these uh, uh, handguns. Um, but the reason I say in a shift uh, situation, I would take the Glock. Um, the Glock... I guess it's just reputation. You know, you can just abuse the Shibas out of them, and they will continue to function. I've never put the SIG through any kind of real torture test. I mean, I really don't want to, you know. But, um, I mean, you know, the thing is, I think it would do okay. But the Glock is just the Glock, man. You know, my every Glock I've ever had, I mean, I've been rough on them. I've thrown them in saddlebags. I've never been um, all that diligent about cleaning them, you know, I because I've just always felt like I didn't have to. And uh, so it's just one of those things. Um, yeah, the Glock in, in, a, in a shift situation. And you get one more round. <laughs> you know, put a price on that. Anyway, everybody can chime in if they feel up to it. Uh, let me know. if Those of you who have SIGs, tell me what you think. Those of you who have Glocks, tell me what you think. I am leaning slightly towards the Glock, um, though this is just a fantastic gun. It just really is. So anyway, we're over nine minutes. And everybody's probably going, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I got other videos to make tonight anyway. So, everybody, see ya!